Dollywood is one of those parks that is already fantastic, but they have so much potential to become even better within the next five years. They have great food, shows, rides, and they're just an overall fantastic family park. So what I'm doing in this video is talking about what we can possibly be expecting, what new attractions they could be adding, what new improvements to expect, things like that. So before we take a look into the future, let's look at the last five years. Now, one thing to note, they have received two roller coasters within the past five years, Wild Eagle and Fire Chaser Express. And one thing to also note on this list is how this year, in 2015, they're opening the humongous Dream More Resort. And that is just outside the park. What they're adding in the park is parking lot improvements and improvements to their front gate. So what I like about that is how Dollywood alternates and really tries to hit every aspect of the market. They appeal to coaster lovers, they appeal to families, and they're appealing to anyone who has traveled far and needs a place to stay. That's why they've put in the resort. Now the first thing that we're going to be talking about is 2016. I'm going to be spending most of this video talking about this. Because this year we know that they'll be receiving this humongous investment. One of the single largest investments they've ever made. The budget is 20 to 25 million dollars, somewhere in that range. So automatically we should not be expecting a wooden roller coaster as those are normally a lot cheaper, even from RMC. We also know that a clearing has occurred in the upper parking lot near Rockin' Roadway. So my prediction is that the Rockin' Roadway will close and that the station will be used as a new coaster station for a brand new steel coaster themed to cars. And what's great about this location is that it would put a major thrill ride in the front of the park because essentially right now all of the major coasters are in the back of the park. As for what type of coaster they could be adding, Dollywood right now is split down the middle with coasters that go upside down and coasters that don't. So here's the possibilities I could see. I could see a big old B&M, something like a Hyper or an Invert. I could also see something like a Mac Launch Coaster a la Helix at Leesburg. Something like Helix would be awesome because it would interact with the terrain. But no matter what they go with, I'm sure that the ride will be something innovative. If it were a B&M Invert, they could even make it launch or low to the ground. That'd be unique. A Hyper would be good because it would give the park a coaster that is all about the airtime. Thunderhead provides a little bit, and so does Fire Chaser Express, but they really don't have a coaster that is all about the airtime, so that's why a Hyper would be a great choice. Now, part of me isn't suspecting a B&M Hyper because Dollywood released a teaser which showed a car launching off and its license plate said Dollywood 2016. So that makes me think it won't be a hyper coaster, but that does lead me on to thinking, oh, it could be something like Helix because that's launched. So there's certainly some options out there. However, I would expect a launch coaster, something that goes fast. So I'm not making one definite prediction saying, oh, it's going to be a Mac launch like Helix or it's going to be a B&M Invert. Those are the options that I think we can expect. 2016 is definitely going to be appealing to the thrill seekers. That's why for 2017, I think they should be appealing to the kids. They should be adding some family rides. These flying scooters from Larson are really popular right now. I could see them going that route. Also, just some standard family rides. So even though some of these family rides are standard at a lot of parks, what Dollywood does is they theme their family rides really well. As for where to put these family rides, I think that they should put them down by Thunderhead, where that pathway meets the Thunderhead to the front entrance, off to the left side of the park. That area really doesn't have any major attractions. Actually, it doesn't have any attractions, period. So adding some family rides in that area would attract more crowds to that area instead of just being a passage that brings you from the front to the back. Dollywood is really lacking with their thrilling flat rides. One thing that they really are lacking is a drop tower. So I very well could see them going that route for 2018. Now what type of drop tower? Their sister park, Silver Dollar City, is adding an SNS drop tower. Now that one did come from Celebration City, but the fact that they are adding a drop tower could at least think, oh, maybe Dollywood will be adding one in the future. I think that if they did add a drop tower, it probably would be an SNS drop tower. I could see them going the Intamin route, maybe something like Falcon's Fury or just a normal Intamin drop tower. But I don't think that the drop tower would be huge. That's what makes me discourage the Falcon's Fury type of drop tower. I don't think it would be super tall. Maybe no more than 150 feet. That's why I think that an SNS drop tower probably would be the perfect fit. 2019 will probably be an off year. I could very well see Dollywood just adding some shows and doing some overall park improvements. And that's good because parks really need to have that diversity. They can't be all about the rides. And Dollywood really does put on some world-class shows. 
and assuming everything in this five-year plan is correct, then they would have already have been spending a lot of money on Drop Towers, Family Rides, a new roller coaster. So 2019 should probably be an off year. As for 2020, Dollywood is really lacking a dark ride. They have Blazing Fury, which mixes coaster with dark ride. But the thing with Blazing Fury is it's only one type of dark ride. That deals with the animatronics. What I would love to see something is a type of dark ride like Soarin'. Something that goes over the smoky mountains and makes you feel like you're on an airplane flying. And something like that would also be really cool because then it could fly over Pigeon Forge and you could see all the attractions below. I think that would be one of the coolest dark rides ever in Dollywood does great with their rides, so I bet that a dark ride would be one of the sickest attractions at Dollywood. All they have to do is do it right, and I think that a Soarin Over the Smoky Mountains type of dark ride would be really, really awesome. So just to recap, this is what Dollywood's next five years could possibly look like. I think that their next five years really are going to be great. Dollywood is really starting to pull through as being this fantastic theme park. If you didn't know Dollywood before, you definitely know them now. And because Dollywood is growing so much, I think that they're going to start adding these big attractions. Remember the last five years, they added two new roller coasters and a resort. That is a lot to be adding in five years. Then they also added an SNS Scream and Swing and some new shows. So Dollywood does a lot in five years, and I think that these next five years should be no exception. I think we could be seeing this humongous steel coaster, some family rides, a drop tower, and of course that dark ride I was talking about. Now, even if this five-year plan doesn't come true, I think that what we can expect for the next five years really are going to be great. Dollywood is a great park, and I have full faith in them that they'll be doing a great job with adding new attractions over the years. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Post your comments below about your thoughts on this video, and do me a favor, make sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, then make sure to subscribe. A shout out goes to all of those who sent in some of the photos that were used in this video. If you're interested in having some of your photos used in one of my videos, check out the description for further instructions. If you'd like to go further in depth with Coaster Studios, like the Coaster Studios Facebook page for interactive discussions and behind the scenes footage. You can also check me out on Twitter. Until next time, Coaster fans, until next time.